Ladies, have you thought about owning your own business, leaving your nine to five job? If you have, but you don't know where to start, well, I recently sat down with three very successful women who are part of a growing number of women entrepreneurs in our nation. They share their secrets to success. Take a look. I got to the trade show and I wound up writing $20,000 worth of orders. Wow. Sweet. On my handmade samples. Awesome. So this cool. may seem like an ordinary brunch, but these three women have some inspiring stories. In 2010, like for you, was a crazy year for me. They're living their best lives and building their empires, each with fascinating journeys to get here. Okay. I'm Amy Lacey with Cauliflower Foods. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I have created a solution to your problem. How you do anything is how you do everything. Amy Lacey, Nicole McDonald, and Kayla Kraft are cashing in on the businesses they created. It's their out-of-box thinking that got them here. According to the National Association of Women Business Owners, latest statistics show they joined the more than 11.6 million women-owned businesses, employing nearly 9 million people and generating $1.7 trillion in sales. Kayla was just 23 years old, an ER nurse with a small child, when she decided it was time for a change. I looked at all these people that I used to work with and thought, if I had their life, you know, 10 years from now, would I be happy? And the answer was no. Back then, I thought, even if I just, I, for me, I wanted to make an extra $2,000 a month. That's all I wanted, was an extra $2,000 a month. And knowing what I know now, you should have said a million dollars a month, like why not? Kayla started network marketing on the side, eventually leaving her job of saving lives. Now, as a mother of three, a wife, she's the founder of Mommy Millionaire Podcast, an author, and someone who encourages women everywhere to be shameless about pursuing their ambitions. I think from a very young age, we're, we're trained to bet on our, our employer, right? I want to get that paycheck, that steady paycheck. We're trained to look for that. And I learned at 26, I said, you know what, I'm gonna bet on myself. I know that there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there, motivational speakers that will say, follow your passion, okay? That's not very good advice because most people, you have to have a skill. So if you ma marry skill and passion together, then you're able to monetize it. Nicole McDonald, a mother of two, used her skills and passion to create the sash bag, an alternative to the fanny pack with lots of clever pockets inside. You can flip the bag around and now you've got a completely different color. I couldn't really find what I was looking for and the idea literally just went poof and flashed in my mind. Um, so I decided to make one for myself. The San Diego-based company is in its fifth year of business. It all started very small, making them at home, and then selling them at farmer's markets. The first market I took to, I took it to, I sold 30 bags. And I sell these for over $100. So I, I didn't think people that were walking around a farmer's market to like buy eggs and kale were gonna spend <laughs> you know, over $100 on a purse. But they did. Nicole says her company has sold thousands of bags and made more than $2 million in revenue. What is your advice to, uh, to people who have an idea? What do they do with it? If you have an idea that you really, really believe in and you want to make a business out of it, my advice is to start small, start local, Get out in your community and see if people are willing to give you money for your idea. We got a cottage license uh -huh. and I started in my kitchen with my daughter and this wow. other health coach. Like Nicole, Amy's business, Cauliflower Foods, started at home as well after she was diagnosed with lupus. The chronic autoimmune disease caused her lots of pain and inflammation. Something had to change. I just switched up unhealthy foods and made them healthy that my family loved. So mm -hmm. we loved tacos, we yeah. loved pizza. I used cauliflower, which wasn't a vegetable I even had in my kitchen because it it is a little smelly when you make it. <laughs> but I kept finding all these recipes for cauliflower pizza crust online and there was nothing on the market, so I started making it for my family and friends. Amy became passionate about helping others by providing an alternative to bread products. Cauliflower Foods went from farmer's markets to online and now grocery stores. If you look at my business plan for 2017, mm -hmm. I was gonna make 400,000, mm -hmm. and the business brought in 5.3 million. Wow. So Dang, in 2016, amazing. we were negative. You've gotta be willing to believe in it. If you don't believe in it 100%, it's not gonna happen. 
and believing is exactly what these women did. They all say being an entrepreneur does come with its ups and downs, including sacrificing some time with family, but at the end of the day, you're the boss. So everybody listening in right now, you decide what you want your life to look like and stay focused on that. You don't look to your left or to your right. You're constantly focused on what you want.